Hey everyone, it's Ethan Ormis back again for another video today and welcome back to the channel guys We are here again for yet another music video today um, <clears throat> I'm pretty excited for this one now. This is going to be a new series. I'm going to be starting on my channel uh, We are going to be going through each and every month now to see what my favorite song of each month was so um, Yeah, I guess to basically explain or the easiest way I could explain it is uh, from now on I'm gonna try to make a top 10 songs of the past month at the start of every month now so of course today is July 1st um, I'm gonna go over all the June songs that I liked the most there are 10 songs uh, with one honorable mention uh, so I guess we might as well start off with the honorable mention uh, and this is the intro from the Sin City, the mixtape, um, the mixtape, uh, from Ski Master Sump God, um, just didn't make the cut. Not saying I don't like it at all, because I very, very much do like it. Absolutely love the beat transition in it, and Ronnie J's production is fantastic. I love the opening line, uh, the opening line, sorry, from Ski Mask. It's great. I really, really love it. And then I guess we can hop right into the top ten. So starting off at the number 10 position, uh, we have Mahomes by Migos. Now, uh, I really, really like this song. The chorus is fantastic. The production is immaculate. I absolutely love it. Um, and I really like the verses from all three members of the Migos. It is, this is a very good song and definitely a song I would recommend and give a, uh, give a listen to. Uh, now we can move on to song number nine. We have Red Light, Green Light by DaBaby. I love DaBaby. I really do. I'm so glad there's finally new DaBaby music. Uh, he released a song last week, uh, Ball If I Want To. And then, of course, just, uh, well, I guess technically like two weeks ago now almost. Uh, and then last week he released Red Light, Green Light. And I really, really like it. Uh, it's really, really good. I absolutely love the production on it. It's really, really good. Uh, then we move on to part, no, not part, sorry, song number eight. Uh, we have Go Part One by Polo G featuring G Herbo off the Hall of Fame album by Polo G, of course. Uh, I absolutely love this, and this, the transition between Polo and G Herbo in this song is really, really good. Uh, I really thoroughly enjoy it. The production, again, uh, pretty. I'll probably mention production on almost every single one of the songs in my top ten because... That is a big that is a big feature as to what I like in a song. So I really really like it, and this is a, a this is a strong G Herbo verse slash feature as well. I've never really been a G Herbo fan. I've only really listened to the songs that Juice has been in with him. Uh, but overall, I really do like this song, and I think G Herbo has a good verse. I don't think it's bad by any means. I think it's pretty solid. Uh, and the chorus is fantastic. Polo G is great, of course, and. Yeah, well, I mean, we'll we'll talk about the Hall of Fame album here late or later on, but it's pretty great so far. Um, I really like the song plus the G Herbo album coming out sometime. I think next week. I'm pretty sure it's next week. Um, nonetheless, we can move on to number seven. We have Bloody Canvas by Polo G, also off the Hall of Fame album. Uh, this this is fantastic. This is a fantastic song. The storytelling ability the ability that Polo G has is phenomenal, and I love it so so much. It really I mentioned it in my Hall of Fame review, but uh, it reminds me a lot of I Know from The Goat by Polo G. It's really really good and a really a really quite sad story. Um, give it a listen. This is one song I truly truly recommend that you should listen to. Then moving on to the top six, I guess, we have Avalanche by Migos, uh, the opener to Culture 3. It was a great damn way to open up the album. I am so, so in love with this song. Uh, I absolutely love the saxophone in it. It's really unique. I love it. Migos, every once in a while, has a saxophone beat, and I think it's really, really sweet. Uh, I really, really like it, and I like the three verses from each member Starting it off with Quavo, going to Offset, and then Take Off just fucking carries that song, in my opinion. It's His verse is so, so good. I absolutely, 
absolutely love it. Uh, now we can move on to the top five of the month, uh, in my opinion, or for me, not in my opinion. I'm not saying this is the top ten best songs of July or of June. Sorry, this is my favorite songs of June. So, uh, top five, we got No Return by Polo G featuring the Kid Leroy and Lil Durk, of course, uh, off the Hall of Fame album once again. Uh, Polo G's fantastic. I love his verse. Production on the song is great. Kid Leroy's chorus is awesome. I love the Kid Leroy, and I really, really want to be a Lil Durk fan, and I'm trying so hard to be. Uh, and this song really helps because, my God, this is one of my favorite verses of the year for sure. Uh, I think Lil Durk goes so, so good in this. I mean, both the features from uh, Durk and Leroy are fantastic. I absolutely love them both. And I think this song is really, really good and could probably um, make a, make an argument for even higher up on this list for me or even uh, in the year long list uh, that I'll do at the end of the year. So a really, really good song. Moving on to number four, we have my favorite song from Culture 3. We have the modern, no, not the modern day. Sorry, we have Modern Day uh, by Migos. Really, really good uh, production. Again, phenomenal. Uh, I absolutely love the chorus. Offset's verse at the end is so, so good. I absolutely love the way he enters in uh, with the big buddy Uris. I don't know, I love it. Um, <laughs> This is a this is a really good song and another song I really recommend you should give it a list give a listen to. Uh, this was actually an unreleased song, uh, a snippet that I was a big fan of. We had only had a, some of Quavo's verse in the chorus, uh, but I, yeah, I I love the song. I'm so so happy it was released, uh, and I love it. I really really love it. So now we're on to the top three. So. Uh, at the number three position of June 2021, we have The Matrix by Ski Mask the Slump God. And similarly to Modern Day, this was an unreleased song that I was really hoping to be released. And thankfully it was. I absolutely adore this song. So, so good. Ronnie J's production on this song is phenomenal. The beat is insane. If you guys have subs or six speakers in your house or your car... You have to listen to this song with it. It is fantastic. It goes so hard. It hurts you. And it's so, so worth it. I absolutely love it. Plus, uh, Ski Mask Flow is so, so good, as always. And then we move on to the top two songs of June for me. We have Boom by Polo G. Uh, absolutely fantastic song. I love it so, so much. Uh... You know what, originally, I believe, uh, for my initial review of Hall of Fame, I think Bloody Canvas, or sorry, not Bloody Canvas, um, uh, Black Hearted was my favorite song. You guys see, so far, it's not even on the list, um, and spoiler alert, it's not on this list, so it's not number one. Uh, originally, that was my favorite song, and when Polo had released three snippets of songs before he had released the album, Black Hearted was one of them. I didn't really, I don't really like this song as much as I was expecting to, I guess. I still really like it, but I just, there are other songs that beat it out. But Boom is so, so much fun. It's such a hype song, and I love it so, so, so much. It's really, really good. Production is fantastic on it, and I absolutely love Polo on it. It's so, so good. The beat is sick. And moving on to my favorite song of June so far, and possibly one of my favorite songs uh, of the entire year so far, we have Toxic by Polo G, again, off the Hall of Fame album. Uh, by far, my favorite song of June. The only songs that can really compete with it would be Boom or The Matrix. So, yeah, but I just... You know, I wasn't really that big of a fan of the song the first time listening, but man, it's grown on me so much, and I've been listening listening to it non-stop. And this is another song I truly recommend listening to in a car with subs or just a sick sound system because the beat where it's like six beats in a row, it's so, so sick, and it sounds so awesome. Uh, production, again, is just uh, incredible on this song and really on this entire album. Like I had said... I was going to talk about Hall of Fame once again, just because originally Hall of Fame by Polo G did not sit well with me. 
I thought it was a pretty underwhelming album, but the more I listen to it, the more it grows on me, and the more I listen to these songs, especially the uh, five polo songs I have in this list, uh, I really, really, really like this album. So, uh, yeah, uh, just a little recap, I guess. Number 10, we have Mahomes by Migos. Number 9, we have Red Light, Green Light by DaBaby. Uh, number 8, we have Go Part 1 by Polo G featuring G Herbo. At number 7, we have Bloody Canvas by Polo G. Just realized Bloody Canvas is on this list. Oh, wait, no, sorry. No, yeah, no, I know Bloody Canvas. I was, I was thinking Blackhearted. I just got them mixed up, sorry. Uh, anyways, number six, we have Avalanche by Migos. Number five, we have No Return by Polo G featuring the Kid Leroy and um, Lil Durk. Uh, number four, we have Modern Day uh, by Migos. Number three, we have The Matrix by Ski Mask, The Slump God. Number two, we have Boom by Polo G. And number one of June, we have Toxic by Polo G. Uh, one thing you guys will notice, there is no Juice World on this um uh, in this playlist or in this top 10 or even in the honorable mentions. Uh, you know what? Antisocial has not grown on me. Maybe it will. There are a couple of juice songs that I've had trouble uh, liking, but eventually do like. I don't know what it is, but uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Anyways, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Hope you did enjoy, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.